Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Today we're going to be taking a look at three overpowered weapons. Now these these are just random weapons that I picked. Uh, they're not like in a pack or anything. But I figured that I would do a video on them because I feel like they're, we need some OP stuff, okay? You know, dinosaurs, water creatures, we need something OP. So I've looked around and I found these three guns that I think are OP enough to be in a video. So let's get on to it. First things first, we have the OP Revolver. Now this is a revolver that is apparently OP. We will see. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but it did anyway. So here you guys can see we have Odessa's everywhere, and we're in my apartment, guys, as always. You know, always good to be in my apartment. Although I have beer everywhere, which is weird because I don't drink anymore. Huh. So, the gun. Looks like it shoots some kind of like hunter bullet. <laughs> well, it's definitely a one-shot kill. All right, so that's pretty boring. Let's see what else this this thing can do. So again, doesn't really matter where you shoot it at; it basically kills in one shot, even in the knee. So what about right click? Well, let me reload real quick. He got blood on my plant. Right click basically acts like a shotgun, and it's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh my God! He got to my roof. Let's try to see if we can hit the roof with this this <laughs> this bullet real quick. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! You got your brains in my plant, man. Oh, now you really got your brains in my plant. <laughs> oh, there goes his body. <laughs> I'm going to be a janitor. So this gun's not very too exciting, honestly. I mean, it's just a revolver that shoots. Extraordinarily strong bullets, which is nothing to sniff at, but it's still kind of lame. Oh, and guys, I swear to say that I'm no longer a part of Curse, which is unfortunate because I love Curse. If you guys have a thousand subscribers, any of you, I highly recommend Curse. They give you so much cool benefits, like the music library, which I used all the time. You guys know in all those videos I do that have those special effects, I get all the music from there and all the sound effects as well. But unfortunately, I parted with them so I could join another network. I'm going to give that a shot. They're known as Defy Media, and hopefully everything goes swell. So up next, we have the Doctor Who Defabricator. Now this thing, it looks like it's going to do what its name suggests, and that is to defabricate something. Let's see what we can defabricate. Alright, so here we have Odessa, as always. So first we're going to shoot and see what happens when you shoot this thing. It's basically a death ray. And we'll see what that, what that does when you shoot someone. Well... <laughs> <laughs> that was a little dramatic. Literally left nothing but his torso. Even though I shot him in the torso. Let's see if I shoot him in the head. It doesn't matter. They get destroyed. All their limbs get instantly cut off. Even if you're not even remotely near their legs. And they die. Horrifically. As you can see, you can play soccer with their bodies. And get the whole apartment bloody. So this is just asking for trouble. I'm gonna see if I can kill all these guys. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Look at all those eyeballs. Holy cow. So basically this turns into a... Plasma meat grinder. Because literally they just get destroyed. That's crazy. So what about G-Man guys? Can G-Man take the heat? He dies so quick. He doesn't even get a chance to fall. Just blend it up. This is definitely a meat grinder, guys, and again, leaves no parts of the body. Not even the torso for G-Man. What about a hunter, guys? Wow. You see how quick that hunter died? This is no laughing matter. What about a strider? Alright, this isn't really fair because he's kind of going through my roof. What about an antline guard? Oh my god. Look at that, guys. Not even the mighty antlion guard can stand against the defabricator. It really does stand up to its name. And I feel like, honestly, the gore mod is really essential for this mod because otherwise it would just be lame. Bodies would just be flying up and that's it. They wouldn't be splattering or anything. And that's what makes it so enjoyable. Get ready for a game crash. Wow. The game didn't crash yet. So, next time you guys have a zombie apocalypse, make sure you bring in a fabricator with you. 
Ah, I missed one. Ugh. Up next, guys, and this is going to be the most enjoyable one, we have the Galaxy Imploder. As you guys can see, whoever made up these names is purely a genius because these names are badass, and rightfully so. So this gun, basically, when you left click... Oh, this is gonna be fun. We're just gonna skip right to the Antlion Guard, guys. Look at all those pieces. <laughs> oh my god, that is just... Ugh. So what does it do to humans like Odessa? Well... I clicked that once. Let's try it again. Alright, here's my mouse. Check it. Let me, like... Shoot him in the face or something. Here we go. Alright. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so what about right click? Well, R does nothing but reload. Right click? That was again for one second. Let me hold that for a little bit longer. Those are all combine AR energy balls. <laughs> God, the gore mod is so great for these mods. Look at that. I wanted to paint my room red anyway. Alright guys, my right finger is so freaking tired. Why? Well, those energy balls actually take SMG ammo and I just took forever doing this. Spawning all this ammo and getting 210. So, let's see what it looks like with 210 balls flying around my house. But that's not out of the ordinary for me. Alright guys, if my game doesn't crash this will be pretty amazing actually. Here goes. Oh my god! Well, no one survived. That, my friends, is what 200 balls look like bouncing around in one room. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So guys, unfortunately, that's pretty much it, though. These three weapons are very awesome. I highly suggest you guys get them in your own Gary's mod if you want to just piss off your friends and just go crazy with it. All the links that were used in this video and all the mods will be down in the description below if you guys want to get in your own Gary's mod. And also, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you can do that down below by clicking the links. Follow me on Twitter, and yo, we can like chat and stuff. Let me know how your day has been and everything, and you can also get updates on when I upload a video. And also, if you guys want to like this video, you can do that. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Subscribe if you like that. I ripped off of Linux. Linus Tech Tips right there for a quick second. Uh, it's all cool, though. But seriously, though, guys, subscribe if you want to see more videos. You don't have to, but it's cool if you do. I think it'd be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me let me know what you guys think about GTA 5 mods. I'm thinking about going back to those now that the mod community has kind of developed more. And uh, I'd love to do some crazy mods on there again. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, farewell. Balls in my mouth.